Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I, uh, I, today, I don't, I don't know if I have like real content or, or anything. I do have stuff to say, um, and it doesn't involve music. And that was horrible. Let me try that again in a second. But uh, uh, what I, what I kind of wanted to talk about was it was just that, you know, like my my connection with Leonard Skinner and uh, me not wanting to take drugs um, a lot of it has to do with that that song but then later later in Skinner's career um, uh, for the their last album with Ronnie Van Zant Ronnie Van Zant was complete uh, this is why I love Skinner Ronnie Van Zant was just writing about things that happened to them um, and how Gary Rossington gets up on stage every night and plays that smell, I don't know. Because the first verse, you can go out and find the the, uh, the news article. It was pretty much taken right from that news article, you know, uh, because it, it's uh, <clears throat> whiskey bottles and brand new cars, oak tree, you're in my way. There's too much coke and too much smoke. Look what's going on inside you. And and Gary Washington had gotten into an accident with a brand new Ford Torino. There was a whiskey bottle uh, in the front seat. Um, I don't know about the coke, but he did say, "Yeah, we were taking lewds." And there's another um, there's another reference in the song to you. When, when you well, you think you're you know you, Prince Charming when you're full of lewds. So Skinner has always helped me to to go away from drugs. Um, Ronnie Van Zant once said, hey, "If you can't smoke it or drink it, to hell with it." You know, um, I do. I do smoke marijuana right now. I want to stop doing that too. Um, I take marijuana um, it, it, orally, um, uh, edibles um, as well. I'd like to stop that as well. Um, and a lot of things. The reason I'm telling you all this is because uh, I, I've been noticing in my cancer journey here. Uh, their little cocktail thing seems to completely and utterly affect me, which is why I don't want drugs because they do things that you don't know what's going to happen with each individual person and they seem to affect me just strangely. So I just would rather not have them in me um, because I think it's the steroids that, that might be giving me, I don't know, know if it's a false sense of bravado or what it is, but um, they called to do a check-in yesterday with me uh, for, you know, how are you doing? Um, not uh, the oncologist, but uh, one, one of the nurses that, that works with the oncologist. And and they asked the question, how are you doing? And uh, I don't know if it was the steroids or not, but I'm like, I'm freaking great. I'm awesome. You guys think it, you know, say, you know, she thinks she can hit me. You tell her to hit me harder because she it's like a girl. Come on, man. What the hell? You know, and that's all that that I think is all from the steroids. But. It's a good thing because you know it's giving me that 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 inside incentive to 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 fight to to keep going to 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 try and get myself better. So, um, but I just I can't I don't want to do it with drugs. I mean we weren't put on this planet to do that. I don't think so. I mean for them helping me out for a little while, okay. Um, my ultimate goal is to get off of them. <laughs> If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be awesome. You probably know the drill by now. I want to give away a guitar, but I want to get to a thousand subscribers first, and it's a long way to go. But uh, I'm going to keep trying. I've been feeling so sick inside. That's with the 
I can't play like Alan Collins and get that get that solo in there with that. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, one of these days I'll work on it. And hopefully that's a little bit of improvement from the last time I I actually tried to play that song and it sound it felt like it. It sounded like it. So so that that was very cool. Thank you guys if you if you stayed to listen to it because it felt good and and that's that's one of the points of this channel is so that i can get better so that someday i might actually be able to entertain you instead of talking about my cancer journey so i'm just trying to work on the entertainment part uh, hopefully it's getting a little bit better i hope you always have a great day um i really do um always look up he's there for you and uh well i hope to see you then peace <laughs>